Chatty Dad One coming at you today. I wondered. I was listening to um, an Art Bell, and they was talking about finding a five thousand year old Vimana, and how all the leaders in the world, you know, went to check it out over there in the Middle East. I think it was in Iraq or Afghanistan, one or the or the other. But I was wondering how much stuff is there out there from the old world that documented these sites, these things. And were they, is that what they were seeing? Now I know a lot of us have seen, you know, the ancient aliens and stuff like that. I wanted to uh, just share with you guys what I was what I found, and I know you've seen some of this stuff, and some of y'all may not have seen it. But uh, let's check it out. This is um, pretty interesting to me. This is supposed to depict a, an air battle. Now, all this stuff is supposed to be really old paintings and actual artifacts and stuff that's you know that dates back hundreds and thousands of years um, but it, it definitely shows something I don't know whether this one is showing several huge asteroids going by but the people are definitely pointing at it and saying oh my gosh check it out you know look at that but there's definitely things flying by and you know it may be a, a big group of asteroids that made a really close pass by the earth and the people were able to see it or maybe it was a bunch of UFOs and the circle ones now this is some of the stuff from um, paintings depicted from events from the Bible. And some of these painters, you know, read the Bible and had pictures in their mind of what was going on. Some believe that it's an actual eyewitness of things that have gone on. I don't know which is the truth. Um, you know, that's for each of us to decide ourselves. I just think it's very interesting. Very interesting. Now this is interesting to me. This is a picture of the Savior, the baby Jesus. And this guy right here, he looks, I don't know if that that's a horse. He looks like a friggin' reptilian or something. That's what that looks like to me. Because he doesn't have that horse face. But maybe, maybe it is. Maybe that's exactly what it is. And um, up here is something going on in the sky. And there's a dog. We didn't know that a dog was at the <laughs> at the nativity, did we? <laughs> this is a painting depicting the supposed baptizing of John the Bab or of Jesus from John the Baptism Baptist, but we know that he emerged Jesus in water. He didn't sprinkle him. But some say that these are UFOs here, which, you know, they kinda of look like clouds to me, but eye of the beholder, you know. Here's some stuff. This to me looks like a friggin' Black Hawk helicopter. I don't know about this one. Maybe a boat. This, I don't know. This thing here, I, I, I don't know. It's pretty wild. This looks like it could be some kind of a gun turret. An 88 millimeter cannon or something. I don't know. 
Here's a depiction of the crucifixion of the Savior. There's these things here flying up. Kind of look like jellyfish. And these two guys are getting out of town after they've done seeing what's going on. Now, like I say, I don't know if these are supposed to be... See, there's the one guy. And here's the other. And I don't know whether these are supposed to be a, an account from somebody who was actually there, who saw these things, or someone's imagination and uh, painted this, you know, painted it up depicting something. It very well could be depicting um, things that was going on in the sky. It could be depicting a, a a planet, maybe, you know, that was going by, or a comet. Because with the darkness that happened, something, something happened in the heavens. Might have been Planet X could have came by and caused that uh, darkness for three days. Something, something caused it to be dark. But there's some really interesting, pretty wild cave drawings and stuff. And I don't know what they are, but it's pretty bizarre, pretty wild. It's hard to uh, imagine it's anything but what they show it to be. I mean... I don't know, some of the stuff is is iffy, but some of the stuff is darn right, you know. <laughs> That's exactly, almost, has to be what it is. I don't know. Check this dude out. He's checking this thing out. He's like, holy crap. Look at this thing. And that's, um, uh, Jesus' mother. Now, this one was interesting to me. That these, I don't know if this depicts two kings or the Lord and Mary, but they're coming up on some kind of a craft or some kind of a cloud or something. There's a bunch of them coming behind them. And this guy's hoeing in the dirt. I don't know why. But. None of these people are looking up for some reason. And I don't understand that. But it's very interesting. This is an interesting one. I think this is the Michelangelo painting of uh, God controlling the earth. And, but, you know, that looks like Sputnik, kind of. Now, this is a Japanese cave painting or some kind of a something that I don't know if this is a comet they're seeing or a UFO or exactly what but it's something interesting now these are very interesting to me and this is what got me looking at this stuff these Vimanas That's supposed to be a couple of them there. I don't know whether that's really what it is or not. Now this, to me, is just amazing. How they built this stuff. I mean, it's just awesome. And it's thousands of years old, too. It's just super cool. Now to me... When I was looking at this one, this looks like some kind of a reptilian. And he's even maybe got his tail hanging down. But he's, his head, he looks like he's got a snout. It looks like a reptilian there to me. I don't know. What do you all think? I think that's a reptilian. And I think he's, uh, you know, it looks like snake type 
uh, uh, you know, design type stuff. Now here's a depiction of Moses, and uh, there's something in the sky here, and this is the Ten Commandments that he's received. I don't know whether this is clouds or not, but these look to be like some kind of UFOs. Here's a painting. This is um, the mother of Jesus. And this is a UFO of some type up here in the heavens. And it's shooting a laser beam down on her. And maybe that's how they thought the, uh, you know, the Immaculate Conception happened. Now here's these two guys, and the one's behind and one's in front. This guy's looking back, this guy's looking forward. They're both taking off, like, oh man, let's get out of there. There's bad stuff going on down there. Fixing to have earthquakes, darkness, and all kind of stuff. But you know, who knows what that's, what that is? It was painted in 1350. This one was interesting to me. Very interesting to me, and these people are all looking up. And there's a great, great group of people. And they're all looking up at this big, big ship or city in the sky. And it might be this guy saying, hey, that's, that's us. To these people here. I don't know. And that's where these things are supposed to come from. These Vimanas and stuff. The blue people. And there's a lot of documentation on this. That seems to be somewhat maybe of a real phenomena. Now, this is depicts, this is I guess Chinese or Japanese, depicts a couple of guys in a chariot, but there's no horse. So, I mean, I don't know if this is dust or in a cloud, but since there's no horse, I would say this is in the cloud. That's very interesting to me. Here's a picture of one of the kings checking out the, the star that they were following. And it looks to be a UFO. And they followed the star. It moved and they followed it. So it had to have been close enough to the ground to where they could keep their bearings in the twists and turns of the road. You know, it probably kept them on the road. Um, to where they wouldn't have to go through thick forest or jungles. And, uh, you know, it very well could have been something like that. You know, nothing is past of what God can do. He can do whatever he wants to do. And uh, if he had means, if he used a... Uh, spaceship to do some of this stuff then maybe that's how it was done I don't know we'll all know one day now this is interesting to me it looks like two planets up in the sky this could be planet X blue Kachina and the red Kachina or planet X and one of its moons or this could be planet X and the sun. Maybe this one's the sun because it's got the things coming. The line's coming. And this one's got smoky looking stuff coming off of it. But all the people look kind of like freaked out a little bit. It was pretty, pretty wild. Now this one was interesting to me. This is, looks like a comet coming very close to the earth and this looks like it could be an aurora borealis to me or electrical discharge 
from how close this comet got. And this could be what we're going to see with Ison. Very well could be, if this thing is a comet. And I thought this was very interesting. Now this is a... This was interesting too. I've never seen this one. These guys definitely got elongated skulls and look like, you know... Don't look like the regular Joe. Now this was a weird looking picture and a spaceship and, you know, the sun. Here's another planet or something there that's shining. I don't know if a lot of these depict Planet X or what, but it's it's definitely depicting something. And there's that little alien body that um, Stephen Greer and his team found. They didn't find it, but he's... Um, you know, done some stuff on it. And really, really neat stuff on that. It's genuine. There's bombers in World War II with the Foo Fighters. And, you know, I think we can trust the World War II fighter pilots. Now, this must have been a stamp because it's got the stamp on it there. Either that or it was authenticated as a postcard or something. Probably a postcard, maybe. From, uh, maybe from India or somewhere. But it's that same picture. Well, I was thinking maybe they were similar. But, you know, I don't know what this is depicting here. But it's, it's interesting. Possibly an eclipse happening there. Now this, I don't know if this is a genuine painting on a wall or a picture that a five-year-old did. But it's, it's, it's supposed to be a painting on, an, on a wall. But, you know, one, two, three. You know, I don't think the Indians wrote one, two, three like that. So, I don't know. And this is pretty interesting to me, some of this stuff. Weird looking things. Now this, to me, if this is really what it's, what they say it is, this is the freaking coup de gras of the whole alien thing. Okay? You can't deny that that's a friggin' guy with a helmet and a suit and everything. I mean, he's got moon boots on. <laughs> you know? I mean, if that's real, and it's supposed to be, then that should be their smoking gun right there. Okay, this painting is located in an ancient cave in Japan and has been dated back to more than 5,000 years B.C. So it's 5,000 B.C. It's got smoke coming out the back of it, two wings, it's flying. Um, inexplicably carved into a temple located in Spain, dated back to 1100 A.D. Okay. I don't know when this was carved into this temple. The temple may be 1100 A.D., but I don't know when this carving was. If this carving was done then, and that was done in 1100 A.D., wow. That's a trip. Now, this was interesting. The lines... I believe it's in China. I got it right here. And you can probably go on Google Maps and check it out. There's the coordinates right there. Yeah, it's in China. Very cool. Very, very cool. But yeah, if they saw this back then, 
what would they think it was? Maybe something similar to what they drew. And what they showed. Anyways, I just thought this stuff was interesting. Thought you guys might like it too. This is Chatty Dad 1. I hope everybody's well. I'm having a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Your rights will go right along with them. Stand up for each other. Stand up for what's right. We outnumber them. And question everything. Question everything that we're being told. Look into everything. Take care. Chatty Dad 1, over and out.